Hey guys, bit of a random video here from me today. I've just dropped Grayson off at nursery and I thought I'm going to spring clean my wardrobe because it is an absolute state in there. I don't know where anything is. I don't know what I've got in there. My friend Hannah suggested I watched this thing on Netflix the other day called The Minimalists and it really inspired me to kind of just get rid of a load of stuff that I don't use or want or wear anymore, like things that I'm just holding on to for the sake of it. So that's what I'm gonna do and I thought I would film it. I'm nosy and I like seeing what other people have in their wardrobes. I know there's a few YouTubers who have filmed organization videos really beautifully and like stylistically and they end up looking like something from Pinterest. My wardrobe is not going to do that and this is not going to be that video. This is literally just me in my messy room, in my messy wardrobe, clearing up my stuff. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> it sounds weird, I know, but hopefully you guys can give me some advice on a few things as well. So let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the wardrobe. Steph and I share a wardrobe and quite often that can be the source of some arguments in our marriage because I'm like, get off my side. He's got so much more stuff than me. You'd think it would be the other way around, but it's not. This is everything I have, summer and winter, everything I own. So from there, so there is my half and then I also have that shelf and then that shelf down there which broke so everything's just kind of piled up on the floor which isn't the best because I don't tend to venture down there I'm gonna stop rambling and let's get this done I don't think I'm gonna be one of those people who takes everything out and then puts everything back in I think that's a really great method I saw Susie from Hello October doing that and I was like, you're really brave because once you've done that, you have to finish it. Whereas I'm like, I'm just gonna pull a little shelf out and then if I get bored after that, then I don't have to carry on. I think I'm gonna start with the shelves because they're a bit less daunting than this. Okay, shelf number one. Let's put you, let's put you there for a minute. When I first organised my wardrobe, I had everything in piles, there was like jeans, jumpers, and now it's just all gone to shit basically. <laughs> it's just a mixture of things. I love this skirt, I got this in Brandy Melville. It was really cheap, the top button has come off so I can't actually do it up without a safety pin anymore, but I still really like it and I think I've worn it recently. I should really have a rule where I can't keep something if I haven't worn it recently. I'll put that on a maybe pile. Knitted blue jumper from Topshop and I still wear this and I still really like it. It's really comfy, really slouchy, good for park days with Gracie, so I'm gonna keep that. I actually have only worn this twice because it's a little bit short for me. I'm not sure if I'll wear that again. I always keep this whenever I do a wardrobe organisation. I always keep it and then I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna wear it with some red lipstick and then I never wear it. So I think I'm gonna give that to charity. These trousers, I still love. These trousers, I don't know how keen I am on those anymore. It sounds really weird, but they make me really hot. It's the fabric is so thick. I might see if any of my friends want those. That's actually Steph's. Got a lot of stripey stuff going on here. Can you tell it like stripes? Literally my whole wardrobe is from Topshop. Now, I really like this one from Topshop and it has like this really nice little zip detail on the back, but it's very clingy and I'm not really a big fan of clingy jumpers, as you might be able to tell. I think every jumper I own, apart from this, is baggy, but maybe I should keep that because I really want to get some dungarees and I'm just not brave enough yet, but maybe I will put that under some dungarees because I feel like you probably shouldn't wear baggy stuff under dungarees. I don't know. I'm really bad at fashion. Never ever ever wear this, but I really like the colour. It's like a really old emerald green jumper from Zara. I'm literally like the world's worst minimaliser. I can't throw anything away, what's wrong with me? Help me. I think what I'm gonna do with this green jumper is put it underneath this gilet and then hopefully that'll encourage me to wear them together. I've just realised most of my clothes are like really old. I get a, a few new bits and pieces here and there. I tend to be a bit of a grandma when I'm shopping. There's only a few certain plain items and plain colours that I really like wearing um, and styles of things that I really like. So I tend to stick with those. And as well, I find 
I tend to only buy things that I know I'm going to really like for a long time. So I think that's why lots of the things in my wardrobe are from like five or six years ago. My last stripey items are my two dresses from November Night. I still wear these, still love these. I don't think I could ever be one of those people that does a capsule wardrobe. This one's from Brandy Melville. Um, and I really love it. It's like the, my favourite, favourite jumper. But I was upstairs in my office and I got this big ink stain on it. And it won't come out. Um, I've tried Vanish, I think. Um, and I washed it straight after the stain ha like got on it. And it won't come out, so... I don't, I can't bear to part with it. I might put that in my pyjama drawer. Scarves! My sister got me this. Burnt orange is never a colour that I would go for myself. And I really like this. Sometimes it's really nice when someone else picks something for you that you wouldn't normally go for yourself. This one I'm going to put in our drawer where we put all of our ski stuff because I don't really wear that unless we're in a really cold country. This one's so skanky but it's so warm. I've got to keep that. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I bought this from the White Company in their sale and I liked it because it had these little like tussel things on it but I thought it was going to be more of a like a summer scarf, like a small scarf and it's actually, there's so much material on this. Um, so I've only ever worn it like twice. It's a bit like meh. So I don't know about that one. Let me know what you think I should do. Charity or keep it. I feel like if I prop you up on a pillow here, I might be able to actually talk to you. Does this work? Does it work? This is why Steph always makes me use a tripod. Kind of works. <laughs> it's like this big sort of bat wing drapey style but it's really itchy i've worn it a couple of times and a couple of times that i've worn it the friend that i went out with was like what is that <laughs> which i like i like the honesty so i think that's going to go in the charity pile too oh look i just found my little dress that i used to wear when i was pregnant with grace it's supposed to be a dress that you can wear after you're pregnant as well or if you're not pregnant i think i wore this actually to my sister's wedding when I was her bridesmaid. Yeah, I've got to keep it anyway because it's sentimental. I've got like a random breastfeeding top. So I have this issue with jeans. I always buy the Lee jeans from Topshop. I've been buying them for like four or five years. It's just the style that I always go for because I know my size, I hate jean shopping. And so whenever my jeans start looking a bit gross, I just always go there. But I feel like recently they don't really suit me, they don't fit me properly. I just don't really like how they look on me, but they're my only option in my wardrobe, so that's why I keep them. I just can't bring myself to go jean shopping. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep these because I don't have any other alternatives. I'm not sure how I feel about rips anymore. I feel like I'm a bit too old to have ripped jeans. I just realised my pant drawer is open. We are one shelf down. This bag has only made it in here because there's not enough room in Grayson's wardrobe for his old stuff. Let's see this first, because there's not very much of it. I remember when I bought this play suit, a couple of years ago now and I really love it still but it's shrunk in the wash I think what I might do is wear it in winter with tights and a jumper over the top I'll probably do that like once plain black cami dress you can stay I think these are the ones that I bought in Australia um, they were really cheap but when I put them on they literally like skim my ass <laughs> and I am not very comfortable with that, so I think I'm gonna give those to charity. Oh, this skirt, I love this skirt. I found this in the sale in Topshop before we went to America, and it is a couple of sizes too big for me, um, but it was only 15 pounds and I loved the print, so I've just been wearing it with a um, safety pin in the back. This dress I'm definitely keeping because I lived in that this summer and it's really comfortable. Uh, maxi dress, that's a black maxi dress, I'm going to keep that. This thing I think I'm going to give to charity. I seem to have a bit of a knitwear obsession. It's time to get brutal I think. This one is a bit scratchy. This one is a bit too short for me. Oh, this is a nice slouchy brandy one so I'm going to keep that. This one I'm keeping. I've got two of these and I wear them all the time. This one I'm not sure on. Because it's from Brandy, I thought it was going to stretch loads, but it's actually really tight and I'm not really a massive fan. Gotta love a bit of khaki green. This has stains on it. I don't know if I'm going to wear that again. I'm not sure. I never know what to put with the bottom of it because it looks weird with jeans. Belts have been done. Now it's time to tackle the bulk 
I say the bulk, but I don't think there's actually that much. Most of this stuff is stuff I tend to reach for. I'll put you on top of Steph's joggers. <sighs> I'm sure you'd like to be there. I keep all my dresses on this side. I'm definitely going to keep this. Sorry, the light's really bad in here. I'm not sure if it still fits me. I think it came up quite short when I wore it and I think my legs have got a little bit chubbier since then. <laughs> but I, I still really, really like that, so I'm going to keep that. Ah, oh, I have to keep this. I haven't worn this for years, mainly because I haven't fit in it for years and years. But this is the dress that I got married in. It's not obviously like a proper wedding dress because Steph and I eloped to Las Vegas. We had like one of those little conveyor belt <laughs> weddings. It was so kitsch. I bought it from Zara for 20 quid about two days before we flew off to get married because I just could not find anything that I liked. I think it would be a different ball game now if I went shopping for a wedding dress. I'd probably get something like really elaborate. <laughs> I've got to keep that. And this is a play suit that I got to go on honeymoon with. It still fits nicely, so I'm going to keep that. Now this dress I got when I was 19 and I worked in warehouse in Bath and I wore it to death. Like back in the day, I wore it to death. But I just don't think it's very flattering for me anymore. I haven't worn it for years. So I think, sadly, I think it's time to let that one go. This dress I love. I think it's a little bit too short for me now, um, but I'm gonna keep it. This one I bought over the summer. Just really like this dress. I think I probably would have got married in this dress if I'd found it before we actually got married. This is from Reese, and it's a little bit more than I would normally spend on a dress. I think it was about 90 pounds or something, but I wore it quite a lot in the summer. And whenever we go somewhere that's like a little bit fancier, this is like my go-to dress. And I just feel really comfortable in it. It fits me nicely. It's not too short. Um, yeah, it's just a really good like go-to. <laughs> Steph always makes fun of this dress because when we were dating, I used to wear it all the time because it was like the only dress I had. And I haven't worn that in ages, but it's like my dating dress. I have to keep that. This dress is, you can't even see that. It's like an emerald green sort of color. Lace bodycon. And I bought this for, I think this was the first ever Glean Christmas party that we went to. There's no way this dress is going to fit me now. No way. And I don't have any hope of fitting into this dress again. So I'm going to pop that in the charity pile. Ah, it's my trusty All Saints blouse. I got this when I was a student and I still wear it. Whenever we go to an event, you've probably seen me, if you watch the vlogs, wearing this. Am I going to wear this again? I feel like I wore this to death last year, but I still really like it and I still think that I will like it probably this coming winter. I'm gonna have to keep this dress too because this is another sentimental one for me. I used to wear this to work when I worked in warehouse when I was 19, this was my uniform. After I left that job, my mum and I used to share this dress because she really liked it and I really liked it. It's really easy just to chuck on with some leggings or some tights or something. She used to wear this quite a lot. It's like one item of clothing of hers that I remember her wearing lots and that whenever I see it in the wardrobe it makes me think of her so I have to keep that. Oh I've been looking for this dress yeah this is just a black t-shirt dress from Hush um, but it's so comfortable I'm definitely keeping that. I don't really like that anymore I'm going to get rid of that. You guys will have to let me know if any of you end up spring cleaning your wardrobe after watching this or if you even make it through the whole video. Oh, this dress, I love this. I've been wearing this all week, actually. My friend Hannah, the one who told me about the Minimalist show, um, told me about this dress and it was in the Urban Outfitters sale after Christmas and it's like a really long, slouchy dress. It looks like something from All Saints. It is the softest material ever. It's probably my favorite dress that I've ever bought. This skirt has got to go because I've had that for ages and I think that's going to be too short on me now. I've got to keep that. This shirt I took on holiday when Steph and I had our first holiday together. So many memories in my wardrobe. <laughs> Denim shirts, yes. I've got like a long, more sort of jambre version. This shirt I got when I first had Grayson and I got it from Topshop and Every year I wear this. I love this shirt so much. This I got from Primark about, I don't know, it must be about three or four years ago. But the button has broken on the sleeve um, and I don't have anything to wear underneath it, but I really like it. I always have a dilemma and I always keep this and then I never wear it. 
let me know if you think I should throw that away. This I don't really like anymore, I don't think. I feel like a bit of a grandma when I wear that. Um, unless I put it under a denim shirt, then it could look cute. What do you think? If I was wearing that with like some darker jeans, let me know what you think about that. I'll keep it in there until you've decided. Anthropology cell is so good. Sometimes when I'm in there, I like all of their clothes, but I always notice when I'm like browsing their clothes that it's like just me and loads of old ladies and then I'm like, oh, I'm such an old lady. I still really love this jumper as well, even though it's quite tatty and the quality is really nice. Zara knit, however, it's just the colour is like this weird, like brown colour. I don't know why I bought that. <sighs> this is like a workout. Full neck, ribbed jumper. This is really tight. I just feel like this is so figure hugging that I'm not into that right now so it's gotta go this is another go-to top embellished like sheer top and i usually wear like a bandeau bra underneath it this is something that i bought when i was god how old was i about 19 18 or 19 or something i definitely shouldn't have been buying it because i couldn't afford it but i loved it so much and i'm so glad i did because i still wear this like 10 years later and i still love it I bought this shirt the other day and it's kind of got this like ruffle bit around the middle and then it's longer at the back. It's a bit creased up because I have worn it. Oh, I've got such a guilty pleasure for All Saints. I feel like I don't really ever like designer stuff. Like I'm not really into any kind of designer brands at all really. But All Saints is like my guilty pleasure. The quality is good and if you pick the piece as well then they as you've seen, they last for years and years and years. I bought this jumper just before Christmas and I love this and Steph's really jealous of this one as well. It's comfy, good for mum days, good for traveling. It's a keeper. This one, however, I do not like anymore. My hair always gets caught in it as well. This is another Brandy Melville gem. This is really old and it's stretched loads, but I love it baggy and stretched. I am not sure about that. Let me know how you feel about this because I'm not sure I'm going to keep it in a maybe pile and then if you guys all hate it then I'll be like yeah okay it's gone the grey jumper from Topshop I love my grey jumper for more things from my student days my mum bought me this cardigan from All Saints for Christmas it has kind of been eaten by a moth but I can't throw it away because my mum bought it for me I think I got this when I was about 20 and I always think this looks really nice under a leather jacket even though it's really long it's like just one of those things that looks nice because it's kind of drapey I like drapes. This jacket is nice for the spring time. I think I wore this in a blog post last spring. Ah, another combo that I go to every year. I actually used to wear this when I was pregnant with Grayson in autumn. Um, I got this when I was about 21 from Urban Outfitters sale. And this was Topshop around about the same age. And I just really like those two colors together. I'm not doing very good with throwing away. I actually have two of those gray Topshop jumpers because this one was the first one and it went quite bobbly because I wore it a lot. So I got another one, but I'm going to keep that still because for like play groups and soft plays and things. Last couple of things, this jacket, I tend to wear that in the summer over dresses. I think I wore this to Chelsea Flower Show in my blog post. And the last thing is actually my mum's. It's this little warehouse leather jacket and it's kind of like drapey at the bottom i don't wear it very often because i like to keep it like it still smells a little bit of her and i like to just keep it like as hers but sometimes every now and then i'll wear it and i'll it will just make me feel really special because it's hers um and it's also kind of cool i'm like mum how were you still this cool she was like 60. <laughs> i feel like i've downsized have i downsized a bit okay i feel like i've done all right look look at all of this all of this stuff so there's three piles that's all going to charity now i can breathe Whew. that was a mission i just thought i'd show you guys the end result i think this bit pretty much looks the same but the shelves look much tidier so that's the first shelf and then the second shelf i put grayson's old stuff back in there um, but then my summer stuff is just in that bag down there i hope you guys 
enjoyed watching me <laughs> clear out my wardrobe sorry it was a bit of a random one and probably really long and rambly we found some memories in the wardrobe so that's something i'm gonna end this video here because i'm gonna go and collapse with a cup of tea before i need to go and get gracie and i'll see you guys all in my next video bye oh don't forget to let me know about all the bits that i'm not sure of i feel like i need advice